cheating wife knows she's in huge trouble when she moaned another man's name while we were doing it. My wife of 10 years can't stop cheating. In 2017 I uncovered two inappropriate relationships she was having outside of our marriage. Pictures, sexting, meeting in person while I was gone for work. I hired a private investigator to confirm a guy was coming to my house while I was gone and we caught him. I filed for divorce about a month later and lived through probably the toughest time of my life. During this time we both went to therapy, separately, and I started to have second thoughts about leaving. We have two young children and ruining their lives seemed almost as bad as cheating, so I called off the divorce. Since then my wife has been in therapy on and off and outside of some typical marital issues our lives have been normal, or so I thought. Last month, while having Zex she called me another man's name. We both had been drinking so I shrugged it off. Another night, after she'd been drinking and had taken an ambient she started talking to me like I was another person. Over the Thanksgiving holiday I calmly confronted her. Gave her examples of my reasoning. Gave her a specific name she denied everything. She assured me of her love for me and our family. She kept this assurance going for a few days. Two weeks after this episode one found out from my kids that the guy I mentioned above had been coming over. I confronted her again and she admitted to having an inappropriate relationship with him and lying about it. No zex, but zexting and visiting at his house and ours. You'd think this was rock bottom, but it wasn't. We talked and cried for two days. We decided to go back to marriage counseling and make things work. I asked her if there was anyone else, I wanted to make sure all the cards were on the table before trying to repair things. Christmas Day. We were happy, talking about fixing our marriage and how much we loved each other. I felt insecure but hopeful we could make things work. She passed out after a wonderful evening with our families and I decided to look at her phone. Shocking is an understatement. First I found that she'd been texting the guy mentioned above just hours before. Telling him how much she missed him and that she wished he was here. She said she just wanted to let him know that she loved him. Second, I found out she'd also been texting another guy. Zexual texts, missing him, and how she's dying to see him again. This is all while she's proclaiming her love for me and our family. Turns out the relationship with the second guy had been going on for months. Unimaginable sexting discussions, pictures, and plans to meet. She actually did travel hours away from my parents' house to visit her family on two occasions and met up with him. One occasion was during the Thanksgiving trip I already mentioned. There's more. There were other guys in there. Nothing explicit, but definitely inappropriate discussion and talks about seeing each other again. Heartbroken. Confronted her again with evidence. She says there's something wrong with her. She doesn't know why she's doing it, but wants to stay together. She says she's never had sex, intercourse, with any of them. What do you do? It seems trust in this relationship is dead. Thinking about my kids growing up in a divorced home is heartbreaking. Is there a disorder that causes this? We have some marital issues but normal everyday stuff, stress, kids, money. We are sexually active, very active, and not boring. What would you do? I love her, but am I a fool? Update, just wanted to add some additional information after reading the comments thus far. No paternity test needed. We had to do IVF because she can't get pregnant on her own. She is still in therapy and has told her therapist about the other men. She said her therapist has urged her to stop and tell me, but obviously that hasn't happened. She has admitted to other cheating prior to our relationship slash marriage. Basically that sometime in her mid-twenties she preferred non-monogamous relationships. She has admitted to being the other woman in affairs prior to our dating. She is a good mother to our children and they love her dearly. It's obvious what I need to do. She is a serial cheater. Addicted to the attention and excitement of being chased. This doesn't make things easier, I thought she was my soulmate. Heartbroken, we have reached the end of the story. Let's listen to some of the comments by our Reddit listeners.
Comment 1. Seems like a fairly simple problem to solve. Hire a lawyer and file for divorce. Stop being her second choice. You're her safety net while she's out ducking randoms. Adults don't just visit. They duck. The disorder she has is called morally corrupt, broken human syndrome. The course of treatment is learning morals as a young adult. Comment 2. Just asking the obvious, but you know this is 100% bullcrap, right? She is absolutely ducking some, if not all, of these guys. Get an STD test. A paternity test would also be a good idea. Wife went into overdrive when I told her she's getting served tomorrow after I accidentally noticed their night plans with AP. A little background, my wife, 28F, and I, 28M, have been together for 13 years. We started dating when we were roughly 16, never broke up, and got married three years ago. We had the kind of relationship that others were jealous of, and everyone always expected us to get married when we were younger. Over the past year and a half to two years things started changing between us. Some issues came up with her family and she started to become more and more distant, both emotionally and physically, starting being super protective of her phone, and grew closer and closer with a male co-worker. Long story short I snooped, yes, I know this is bad, on her phone, because I had a feeling something was going on based on a variety of factors and found incriminating texts confirming that she was having an affair with this guy. When I confronted her early September she owned up to it saying that it had been going on for a year. They had been having the affair in our home, sleeping together in the bedroom that would eventually be the room where our future children slept. She apologized, saying it would never happen again, and I told her that in order for us to move on I need her to have no contact with the person she cheated on me with. Two months later and they are still talking occasionally, with her saying it is unfair of me to ask her to not talk to someone she considers a close friend. I honestly don't know what to do at this point. I am trying to see if I can move on, but I feel like I can never trust her again. I feel like her choosing to be in touch with him still shows that she is choosing their relationship over ours. I am just totally torn on what my gut is telling me. She also told me not to tell any of our friends what is going on, so I don't even have someone to talk to. Sorry, this was a bit of a rant, but it's the first time I have written it all out, and I really do not know how to proceed or how to cope with this. Edit was not expecting this large of a reaction. Outside a few of you that seem to think nasty replies are appropriate when someone has their entire life crumble around them, this was helpful. I know what I need to do, I just need to rip off the band-aid and do it. I am going to call the lawyer I spoke to a few weeks ago tomorrow and see how he says I should approach the situation. Hey everyone, I figured it was time to update since all of your advice was so helpful. After posting here a little over a month ago and reading all of your advice I called my lawyer, told my parents and some close friends what was going on, and told my wife that I wanted a divorce. She begged and pleaded, promising to make things better and cut off contact with the AP. We spent all weekend together with her promising things and saying and doing all the right things. I did not fully believe her, but I was willing to give her one more chance to try and save what I thought we had. Things were fine, we were more or less just coexisting for about a month, but she was on her phone a lot less and being more attentive to me. Well, two weekends ago she handed me her phone to show me something, and I suspiciously swiped up on her open apps, and there she was, talking to her AP on Instagram. I flipped out and she promised he just messaged her, and she told him that she could not talk. This was blatantly false as I read their conversation, and they were discussing what they were each doing that night. I was again duped, lied to and deceived. She told me she would finally block him, but wanted to say goodbye since he was a friend. I said it was inexcusable, and that she had to cut off contact and block him right then, which she said she would. Two days later I asked if she had blocked him, and she had not yet. End of the long story I told her right on the spot that we are getting a divorce, and we can either go through mediation if she agrees to every single thing that I want, or I can get my lawyer involved, and I will get what I want anyway. She agreed to mediation, and we are beginning that process shortly. It took me some time to get there, longer than it probably should have, but I finally have enough respect for myself to put an end to this and go find the life of happiness that I deserve. She still tries to make me feel bad about all of this, 
blaming me to a degree and telling me how awful of a situation I am putting her in, but I remind her that it was her actions that caused this, not mine, and that she has to live with the consequences of her actions. I have also begun telling more friends about what happened along with the rest of my family. This is not how I ever saw my life going, but I know that this is a blessing in disguise, and I will end up with someone who truly makes me happy. So, after telling my ex, 29F, that we were getting a divorce, the gaslighting went into overdrive. Blaming me, telling me that it is my fault that I am doing this to us, that I am giving up on our marriage, that it is really sad that I am letting our relationship end this way, and that I am going to take away the home that our dog knows, etc., etc. I stood strong, didn't let her get to me, and went through with divorce mediation. Mediation was smooth, she agreed to everything that I wanted, and I received notice from the courts yesterday that I am a free man. We sold the house within three months of starting mediation, she moved out one month prior to closing on the house. The gaslighting continued while living together waiting for the house to sell, with her continuing to blame me and telling me that I am mean because I refused to speak to her at all, and countless other things that only a truly sick individual would think to be true given the situation. Once the house sold, I moved back to my parents for a few months to collect myself and just figure out what to do with my life. I started weekly therapy and was able to reflect on the relationship, seeing how toxic and one-sided everything was. How I was the one always putting myself second and sacrificing my happiness to try to tolerate her and her unrealistic needs and expectations. My therapist suggests that it sounds like she has borderline personality disorder, which is a condition that runs in her family, and it makes total sense. I was also able to, and continue to, work on underlying issues that allowed me to get into such a toxic relationship and at this point I feel like I will be able to identify the warning signs. I recommitted to my physical health as well, losing 15 pounds over the last three months and getting back into running, currently training for a 10k. Early this month I moved into my own place in New York City, I am reconnecting with friends who I lost touch with, and I have started dating for the first time in my life, albeit pretty unsuccessfully at this point. Plus, I got a promotion at work a few weeks ago that I worked my tail off for. I am mentally, physically, emotionally, and financially in a better place than I have been in years, and her showing me her true colors by having this affair was the greatest favor she could have done for me. I still have not told all of our mutual friends about the affair, as I was afraid she would get angry and tank mediation, but now that the divorce is final I will be notifying everyone in our lives as to who she is and what she did. I guess all this was all just a long-winded way of saying that things will get better. There is nothing wrong with any of us because we were cheated on and to try to use this as a launching point for you making yourself better and working to make yourself the best possible person. This is going to be my last significant post here most likely, as while I don't think my journey of healing has come to an end, it's just come to a new chapter and dwelling on what this woman did to me is not worth it. Thank you again for all the support both in terms of kind words as well as the harsh truths that I had to read. We have reached the end of the story. Let's listen to some of the comments by our Reddit listeners. Comment 1. I've never understood this, so I have to ask. What made you want to stay after she couldn't even stop talking to him? Like I get the first part, you catch her cheating. She apologizes. And all you ask is to not speak to the guy. And she does speak to him. So right there, aren't you so disgusted you just want to leave? Like why would you want to be with a woman that had unprotected sex with another man? Is it because you don't want to be alone? OP reply. Honestly? It's just a really confusing situation. I was grappling with my feelings about it, how I felt about her, and our history together, and just a lot of other things. A lot of the reconciliation was just about me being confused and not having the confidence I needed to actually put an end to it. It's really hard to explain unless you are in the situation, and I know it does not seem logical. Nothing about this situation is logical. While I am mad at him and think he's a disgusting person for his actions, he is who my actual problem is with. She is the one who betrayed our marriage and did this, not him. Comment 2 why the hell does society think if someone cheated on you therefore there is something wrong with you? It's like saying that a destroyer destroyed a victim because there was something wrong with the victim. It's bizarre. 
we can't take responsibility for the other person's actions. The only exception is our kids under 18.